All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go into our first game of the ace match. Remember, this ace match will determine who will win the overall tournament. Or not the tournament, but who the will win. The whole tournament, man. The whole tournament. Son of a bee. God, anyway, you spoke. What a noob. <laughs> what a noob. Um, you know, the winner of this will actually move on into the finals where they face will face off against Team Liquid, yes? And I'm excited. In this ace match, we have Mouse Thorzane versus Empire Happy. We were both right, Greetorp. It is a perfect world. Good job. I'm actually partially wrong because I went on to say that I don't think ha Empire Happy would be picked over Beastie Cutie. So of the two of us, I think you get the W there. Well, I just love Happy, man. You do love Happy. I, I don't care. It's just I love Happy. I, it's because I like to be happy. Yeah. I think there's songs about that and stuff. Now, the first map is Belshire Beach, so I do think this might have influenced... Well, okay, I started to say something, but then I'm like, you know what? Thorzane was always going to be the ace, and then for Empire, probably pro always going to be a Terran. Like, I know I said Violet, but they've stuck with their Terrans through and through, man. And Happy is a really good TBT player. He had to know his face in Thorzane. Yeah, Thorzane, his TBT is awesome. I think we got to see that when he smashed Cat. Happy, though, he's shown really great results in the NASTL. I've been actually following him very closely. I hope so. You've been casting him every time, right? I know. And he's he's balling out, man. Um, I've actually followed him on, on like ladder, European ladder. He was all the way up to number two, I do believe, wow. the European ladder, which is... Big it's deal. not like the U.S. ladder, man. It's not like the U.S. ladder. U.S. ladder... Okay. European ladder is a lot more refined. I think there's a lot more top level players, so it's a lot harder to maintain a higher rank because there's more people competing for those spots. Um, I almost feel like we shouldn't, I mean, if there's anybody that this is like some kind of new argument to or something they haven't heard before, welcome. This is StarCraft 2. Thank you for joining us. Appreciate your stay. Um, let's get into the build here just a little bit. Both players opting for similar builds. Okay, gases are down. I and think factory went down for happy. Gas nope. expansions oh, yeah. are a little bit worse on this map yeah. just because of uh, not only the huge natural that you have to cover, but all the different uh, builds that you can be going up against. Anywhere from a super heavy Reaper type of, uh, of mm -hmm. play, like Reaper pressure. We saw a boxer do that in the GSL where he goes like five Reapers to begin with and then mixes in Medivacs and Hellions. What? Yes, I said that. So oh, damn. It's crazy, bro. Now, Belshire Beach, um, outside of the fairly open naturals, doesn't have, like, middle control. There's not nearly as much. If you look, there's actually two paths that equally go to uh, the other side of the map. So you don't have, like, the Antigua shipyard, or excuse me, uh, the Antigua raised area. You don't have, like, Shakir's Plateau tree line where this is where players sit and stay and never attack because they've got this fantastic position. Mm -hmm. So I think this map does suggest and encourage a lot more aggression in the TVT matchup. Um, Thorzane, he's like a hybrid between aggression and, and, and passive play. He's aggressively harassing, and usually he's passively taking positions. Whereas I think Empire Happy is a little bit more known. I mean, he's not like an aggressive Terran. I wouldn't call him that. He's not like a DDE or something like that, but he's definitely a, a little bit more of an aggressive Terran. I think what really stands out in my mind about Happy is his match against Puma. Yeah. His match against Puma... Um, Turned out to be a huge epic macro war where he actually made better decisions than Puma mm -hmm. and went mass ravens at the end. That was actually so sick. But hopefully we can see Happy's endgame because I think that's where he shines best when he's doing those endgame decisions and he's able to just prepare his army composition for said time. Yeah, we do see that he's actually taking those towers in the early game. That's really, really strong. Anytime you're put in the dark as a as a well, as a StarCraft player, really. It's really problematic, but Thorzane's actually opting for kind of a one-on-one -on -one here. Um, of course, that term doesn't apply in the same terminology in TVT. It's more like a pretty generic opening. Um, I'm looking at this mini-map, and I'm expecting to find a Banshee out there. Let me see, Units tab. Nope, it's no Banshee. No, no, no. Medivac, in fact. This is very... Uh, it is a one 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 but why it's so interesting is the Siege Tank count. And when you get Siege uh. Tank counts, it actually means you're going to be aggressive. It's actually pretty stupid to... Uh, to go siege, I shouldn't say that. That's really harsh. Um, it's it's silly not to attack with siege tanks, um, and the main reason is because it's such a heavy investment, and you can you can take a lot of map control with other things rather than siege tanks. This is normally meant to bust up position. And this against any other build would be a fantastic timing. 
but LOL with that Viking. Um, he does get the one tank. Thorazine tried to micro it back, wasn't able to, but otherwise he gets stomped into the ground. And look at that supply. Thorazine pulls up 12 supply. More importantly, yeah. it's tech. So while Siege Tanks are coming out for Happy, Siege Mode has been initiated by Thorazane. And what often happens is Terran players actually have to hold off on that upgrade because it does upgrade fairly fast. Never mind, there it goes. So actually, if Happy can hold off this attack, he's in good position it's as that command tough. center is earlier. But that's a pretty big if, Gretorp. The problem is the Viking count is already established for Thorzane. Mm. So he basically has the positional uh, spotter for him every single time. That's the big problem. Happy will have to give up this expansion. You can yeah. see he's going to backtrack a little bit. In the meantime, Command Center for Thorzane is going to come up here. But let's see how much damage Thorzane can do at this point. I mean, this is going to be really tricky for him, I think. Well, this is actually troublesome. Um, once those Vikings pick up, yep, there they go. Oh, oh what is Thorzane doing? He's got to pull back that tank. Jeez. Almost losing a tank here. Now pushing forward. SCVs are pulled. Oh, he's scaring me right and now. And actually, Happy has a really similar number of units. Of course, again, that Viking count is lower for him, like you said. So he's not able to keep it in the air. But on the ground, it actually does decent damage. So Thorzane should think about sieging up here and holding this spot. That's exactly what he's going to do now. Yep, even put down a bunker, I don't mind. You know, really establish this position, make sure that it doesn't get busted too easily. Uh, and, and continue that Viking count, because that's the worst thing that could push it. Oh, wow. Happen. Here we go. Happy's going for it. He's going to siege up behind here with the second siege tank. Is he actually able to take out any of these siege tanks? No, he's going to target down all the SCVs. I love that decision. And Thor's saying, look at that, taking a massive advantage. If he actually dropped his other oh two my Vikings, gosh. yes, there it is and he might be able to clean this up. Nice kiting. Oh, my God. Well, I don't like trying to attack <laughs> that at no, all. No, like, no, 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 no. Take the advantage and be the spoon, Terran, that you are. Pull back. Of course, again, we're sitting here as casters watching in perfect times. So we're like, oh, I don't like that choice. But, of course, Thor's at the time. It's just going for the kill, man. Now, that victory minus those three Vikings is a resounding victory for Thor's Ain. As it is, it's a little bit more of a draw. Tank count uh, for Happy is a little bit higher. Oh, there goes Thor's Ain's last tank. Let's see put so much effort into repairing it and then all of a sudden one marine tanks all the damage but Thorzane I mean he's holy a, cow yeah 34 harvesters for Thorzane 19 for happy 16 workers killed for Thorzane that yeah. is a staggering amount of SCVs to be killed in this early game stage you know that's a build that we used to see all the time in the beta oh wow and uh, I actually really think that TPT honestly will go back to this because there's coming up more and more builds that yeah. don't get punished in this early game stage. How many times do you see Gastus expand in TBT? I yeah. mean, that would have been really problematic. Well, Gastus expand actually can defend against that pretty, pretty well, nicely. The SCV pull and I guess like fast combat shit or something like that? Yes, that's okay. I know TBT pretty well. In fact, the second I said that statement, I was envisioning already how wrong I was but saying it. Marauders, if they get snuck out as well against low tank count, are really good. Yes. As long as they can make contact. If they get held back by like a SCV meat shield or um, a high marine count, of course, it gets problematic. But there are options. Yeah. Um, I like. I want to agree with you, though. I like what Thorzane's doing. I think this is working against a lot of builds and a lot of openings by doing a fast push like that, which means there's a really high probability of success. Now, Perfect. where do we get back into this game? Let's look at the harvester counts. 27 versus 43. So right now, Thorzane's not letting up. Of course, they're both working with double orbital, so you don't even talk about mules because that's just a wash. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to come with strong push play. Now, if you look at that unit tab, Happy is at four tanks versus the three of Thorzane. I guess that's actually a really uh -oh. comparable number. I was expecting something different there. Thorzane, what are you going to do with these Vikings? Are you going to land them? I would love for him to actually land them and take advantage of his opponent. You know, just we do see... He's waiting for what's coming out of the starport. Yeah, he has to be. And it's going to be interesting if Happy's just like, uh, good luck, guys. Wait! Oh, they're leaving just <laughs> now. Okay. Perfect timing. As the other Vikings are going to get over here. Not bad. You know, what I would love, actually, from Mr. Uh, Happy is for him to actually be super aggressive. Right now, he should, uh, I think, SEV cut because he has to SCV get back. SEV cut? SEV cut. Yes, wow. I said it. Yes, I said it. I'll explain why right now. Uh, hold on. Vikings are going to trade off a little bit right here. But the reason why I say he should SEV cut and start making all these units is because his advantage if anything, comes at his siege tanks. The siege mm. tanks will be able, if he's able to get into position, will be able to get him a lot of kills. There's a lot of places, Belshire Beach, where you can do a lot of damage, such as the natural over here. You can do elevator attacks, but more importantly, the main. It's really easy to siege up over here and then just start dropping out. So 
really invest in getting the perfect army composition and uh, try to make your way back into the game because you know you are so far behind. If you just played standard, you're going to be behind the rest of the game. Now Thorazine has gone the mech route with a pretty quick third command center here now in Orbital. And he's still working on having air control, which is interesting. I, th I really like that choice. I think mech is only so str Actually, I think TBT in general should be focused on air control, um, whether you're going bio or not, because if you lose control of those medevacs or if you're in mech and you can't spot for your siege lines, it's really problematic. But in this case, they're both trying to kind of vie for that position. Mm -hmm. Now, Thorazine will take a faster third. We do see the third command center for Happy finishing up relatively soon here. And to go to your uh, analysis on the pros and cons of Happy situation, he's the guy being more active in the middle. Yes. Once he figures out he's facing Mech, there's a really good chance he could take an adaptation position and then hold it. But of course, as I said, Thorazane, actually, you're so good, so smart. It's already pushing out. He doesn't want to take that risk. I think it's going to be very difficult, actually, for Happy to do anything at this point just because, you know, he's going for bio. He's going for bio, yeah. and he's been behind. He's getting a third command center. These are all big problems. Now, uh, I'm just going to make a very quick analogy to what I was talking about. It's almost like, you know, you're in, you're you're looking for a serial killer, right? And oh, it, oh well, this is gonna, this wow! Is gonna you know what, Greatorp? He's going to lose all these Vikings for a single Hellion. <laughs> he landed to try to get himself that yeah, tower, yeah. which normally saw, would be a I great saw. move. But when your opponent has so many Vikings, too risky. And it cost him. Yeah, I mean, I'll go back to my analogy really quick. If, uh, let's say you're trying to capture a convicted felon, you're on the trail. Well, following the trail isn't going to help you out because they're always going to be ahead. You're banking on you being faster than the, uh, the convicted felon. Instead, what you want to do is cut them off. Find out where they're going to be going and meet them there. Retort. Caster and U.S. Marshal. The no, best no. pairing ever. I watched Prison Break, so... Uh, hopefully not beyond season one, no, maybe two. absolutely not. Well, actually, I finished the whole series. It was the terrible. The fourth or it fifth time you have to bust terrible. out of a prison, you need to stop getting <laughs> into prison. That was the most difficult. And do you know how it actually ended? I'm um, not even Don't spoil There's someone out there that will get mad at you. Yeah, it's, it's actually so bad. I'm sorry for all of you. Anyway, uh, a fourth base being taken in the bottom left-hand corner. We can see Thorstein just extending his lead, yep. increasing his production. He's looking so, so good. 40 supply up. Even switching, transitioning to Banshees. Really so smart. Sick, man. He has air control. That's yeah. absolutely brilliant play. Um, the second he killed, I mean, he was up like nine Vikings at the end of that Viking battle because he had such an advantage. There's almost no way to make up that difference as long as he's continuously producing Vikings, but hold that thought. We're going to have a push here. And Thorazine's pushing forward. This is actually when Mech is a little bit disadvantaged. He does clean up that bio, and now he's edging out those tanks, and it's Happy that's on the wrong end of the deal. I think he's actually going to lose one more tank. Yep, so he's down to one tank and two Marauders tucking tail and walking back home. But look at that supply. It is roughly 90 supply for the Yellow Terran from Empire versus 150 from Thorazane. And Thorazane is going to keep it going. Oh, yeah, Thorazane, uh, as we talked about, this sieging position is so powerful. See, you know, he's not actually in full position just yet. Only four siege tanks over here that are actually defending his siege tank on the top. So not the best particular trade right there. But any trade for Thorazane at this point in time is huge. Correct. Okay, so it, it was actually Thorazane lost like eight supply with his production differential, and then it was uh, it was Happy that dipped down about 20 supply. And it's because the Happy can't make as much, and he can't continuously make as much. Um, so Thorazane, yeah, okay, that fight didn't do much for him, but every time he's scoring any kind of kills against Happy, it's just one more page in the chapter that is Happy's demise. Exactly. And Happy just going to scrounge for additional units. But look at the supplies, 96 to 157. Let's go ahead and look on the unit counting station. We have 13 tanks against six, uh, you know, five Marauders, eight Marines. Not that much. 71 SEVs to 49. It just, Happy is not in a place where he can actually defend against all these different places. And again, Thorazian is doing this drop. It's so powerful, sir. It's yep. so powerful. And now with Banshees added to the mix, you're going to notice that Happy's army is just a few Marines, tanks, and Marauders. This could be the final conflict, trying to go into the sweep there. But he can't even kill that half of the attack, and Happy taps out. Thorzane takes this game number one. Now, this is a best of three, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So he's one point away from bringing it home for Team Mouse. And, I, I mean, look at this. 
uh, Thorazane went 2-0 against Cass in the original, and now he's in the ace. He's up 1-0. And you had said that he went 6-1 in regular games. Yes. So, so far, the guy is 9-1 and one going into the finals, perhaps, if he went boss, to here. Boss mode, man. He's pretty boss mode. So, ladies and gentlemen, Thorazane is on a tear. We're going to see if he's able to keep it going against Happy, who, uh, you know, lost out pretty early in the beginning, and then Thorazane was able to continue that advantage. So, we're going to see it. Stay tuned, everybody. Ace match game number two coming up after this break.